Hello, and welcome to another edition of Business Automations with Ben. Today's topic is Instapaper. Instapaper is a read it later app where you can save anything you want to read, watch, or listen to at a more convenient time. It's the perfect tool for extremely busy individuals who still want to consume lots of information, but can't necessarily do it on the go. In this video, I'm going to show you some really powerful ways that you could automate your Instapaper using it. So I'm going to start here on the if.com homepage. I'm going to hit services. I'm going to scroll down here where it says all services, locate news and information. I'm going to search for a news source that I want to automate with it. And I'm going to select the National Football League. Okay, so here's where I'll pick the trigger that corresponds with my favorite NFL team, the San Francisco 49ers. It's right here at the top. Now I'm going to add my action statement, my then that statement. We're going to click add. I'm going to search for Instapaper, select, and I'm going to save item. Okay, so a couple things that we're going to do here for where it says URL, we're going to add ingredient, select entry URL, and then under description, we're going to get rid of the default here. And we're going to add ingredient and map this to entry content. We'll leave title as it is. And for right now, I'm not going to select a folder and create Update here is a quick view of the results. As you can see, this is my Instapaper account. Uh, mostly what I have here is, um, of course, the 49ers app book that we just created. So I got the 49ers news along with news regarding the English Premier League and a soccer team that I follow in London. As you can see, getting items to Instapaper is the easy part, but then you actually have to go back and consume them. This next applet is gonna help you do just that. The trigger for this applet is new saved item from Instapaper. So we're gonna click here. We're gonna select create trigger. Okay, so now I'm gonna hit this plus button here. I'm going to select add query. I'm gonna locate the AI summarizer tool. Click summarize. And for the content, I'm going to delete the default, select add ingredient, and map this back to description. I'm going to leave the language as default English, create query. I'm now going to do my then that statement, click add, search for email digest. I'm going to add to a daily digest. I'm going to leave time of day at 7 a.m., leave title as is. I'm going to delete the default for message. Add ingredient, scroll down here, do saved item, select summarize. And this pulls uh, the AI summarizer tool that we just added as a query. Click summary, leave the URL and create action. I'm now going to name this Instapaper to digest. Okay, so here are the results for our daily email digest. As you can see, it gives you the title of the article, a two line summary of the article and then a link back to the article if you decide you want to read the entire piece. Let's say you read an article on Instapaper that you enjoy so much that you decide it's worth sharing with the world. This next applet is going to help you do just that. Okay, so the Instapaper trigger that I'm going to use for this applet is item move to folder. Here you can select which folder I'm going to stick with Twitter and click create trigger. I'm going to hit this plus button again here, select add query. And instead of the AI summarizer, this time we're going to use the AI social creator. I'm going to generate a social media update for a blog post. Leave the title as title, leave the platform as Twitter. I'm going to get rid of the content default. I'm going to add the ingredient description. Leave the link as URL. The tone, I'm going to select casual and create query. Now for the action, I'm going to click add next to then that. Search for Twitter. I'm simply going to post a tweet. And for the tweet text, we're going to get rid of the default. I'm going to add ingredient. We're going to go to item move to folder here and select the query to generate a social media update for a blog post, the query we just created. Click content, create action. Click continue. I'm going to call this applet Instapaper to Twitter. Okay, so here we're back on Instapaper. As you can see here to the left, you can add new folders. I right now have three, Twitter, Facebook, and Send to Mom. Um, we're gonna test this applet out by grabbing this 49, 49ers article here, drag it over to Twitter. Okay, so uh, now I'm on Twitter, so you can see the results here. The tweet that it generated for me was, check out the latest post on USA Today about how the San Francisco 49ers are balancing the present with the future. Click the link below, below to read more. Um, it adds an image with a link 
um, as well as the hashtags 49ers, NFL, and football. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you got something to say, let us know in the comments. Also, if you'd like to check out Instapaper for yourself, I'll leave a link in the comments. And I'll see you next week for another edition of Business Automations with Ben.